Good morning. I got my coffee. <laughs> oh, what? I'm in, back in the bed and breakfast tonight because the hostel was booked again. I've been moved around from bed and breakfast to hostel and back to bed and breakfast. <laughs> I don't care. This place is worth the money. Oh my gosh. And this was such, such a blessed retreat for Easter weekend for me to be able to um, just mentally and physically recharge after a difficult week out on the trail. And unfortunately, it looks like it's not going to get much better. It's unbelievable how beautiful and sunny and warm yesterday was. And I just took little man here out to go potty. Good morning, little man. Good morning. <laughs> and it's flipping freezing. Um, Temperature dropped last night, storms moved through, it's still raining, and now apparently instead of stopping around like noon like we thought it was going to, it's supposed to rain all day. Plus the temperature plummeted like by 40 degrees. It's supposed to be in the low 20s again overnight tonight, especially up in the, mount up in the mountains. So I, me and like four or five other people had asked if we could get dropped back off at that forest road um, around noon and we could potentially avoid the rain today. It was going to be cold, but then all of our clean, dry stuff wasn't going to get all wet and muddy as soon as we got on the trail and they said that was fine. I'm still planning on doing that because honestly, I'm not ready to get back on trail this morning. I still need to buy all my resupply food and uh, get that organized. Um, so I am still planning to do a later shuttle. I don't know if everyone else is now or not because it's going to rain all day. So we'll see, but I will be getting back on trail. And then I have planned to go 11 miles after I get on trail today. Um, so the next stretch is here to Virginia. The next time I stop at a hostel and take a zero, I will be in Virginia. And then I'll be in Virginia for 550 miles. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be cold uh, this next stretch. Yeah, the next couple of nights are supposed to be lows in the 20s again. And... Uh, rain hopefully is going to end today, so at least it won't be wet and cold after today, but yeah, it's going to be cold again. Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to finish getting ready for breakfast, because this is my last yummy, hot, warm breakfast buffet here that is amazing. Seriously, Mountain Harbor, when you're at 19E, way better than the other place with beer. Just saying. My last morning for this breakfast. Oh my god, y'all, it is seriously amazing. And I don't even have everything on here. There's so much over there that I don't even have. Oh, I gotta go back out into the cold and eat oatmeal? Are you kidding me? Pretty, pretty. Gotta take a video of the waterfall, which is hardcore cascades, which, you know, people have unfortunately defaced that, so we're not gonna go zoom in on that sign. And. I met up with my friend Polaris again on trail. Yay! Well, <laughs> it's been an interesting day. I'm actually, I think, about three and a half miles. I'll have to check far out into today's hike. Yes, I have had breakfast. I have been gotten packed up. I have bought my resupply. I have been dropped off and I've been hiking. And I haven't recorded any of that for you. Um, because, I don't know if you can see from around me, it has been raining all morning, and so I haven't had my phone out much at all because it's been pouring, and I've been in my rain gear. I've been carrying Zobie, covered in plastic in his bag, so he's been strapped to the front of me. You can see I'm soaking wet, and I've had, got my pack cover on, and I think... It stopped, at least for now, so I'm actually hot. I'm going to shed a layer. I'm going to let Zobie walk for a bit, relieve some of his weight off of me, because I've got fully resupplied pack and Zobie's weight, and it's been raining, so that's been a lot of fun. <laughs> but actually, it has been fun because I just ran into my friend Polaris, who I hiked with a little bit in the Smokies after I separated from the ladies in the Smokies, and I haven't seen her since then. And we both... She was at the Forest Service Road as I was getting dropped off and we both looked at each other and we're like, Polaris, Monarch, woo! So we've been talking this entire time, but she just went on and I had to stop because I just needed a break. I needed to get Zoe off of me and uh, get things rearranged here to continue hiking. So here's the deal for this next section. Um, this morning, 
I had planned, it's Monday, I had planned to roll into Damascus on Friday. And I was going to do some 11 and 13 mile days between here and there. It was a nice average um, of about 12 miles. Um, however, there is a marathon in Damascus this weekend that apparently is a very big deal, along with being through hiker season. And every place in Damascus is booked Friday and Saturday night. So a place that is pet friendly had an opening for Thursday night. So I am working on trying to get to Damascus by Thursday now, which means I have to do between 13 and 17 mile days between now and Thursday. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to do now. Today is a 13 point something or other day. And that was with getting on trail at like one o'clock. So we shall see how this goes. Um, so I got to basically put my phone down and get Zobi all hooked up and everything rearranged here so that I can keep going. So we'll see how it goes between here and Thursday. That's the goal. Well, I am 8.1 miles into today's hike that I have mapped out to be 13.1. Um, it has started raining again, like off and on. Not hard, but enough scattered shower-ish to get me wet. And now, unfortunately, well, man, wet as well. It's warm-ish. Moving, we're both staying warm. Um, but I know that this evening, and then especially overnight, there's going to be a drastic drop in temperature. So it sucks that we are both wet now and I've still got five miles to go to our campsite, which means I'm going to be setting up probably around seven. If we can stay at this pace or maybe even go a little bit faster, I might be able to get there a little earlier because it is, hold on, big step down, big step down. All right. um, it's not dark till about 8.15, but as you can see around me, <laughs> There's going to be no sunlight to, you know, help keep it warmer as the sun starts to go down or provide any extra light into the twilight hours. So kind of trying to race through this here. Um, it's mostly downhill now at this point. So hopefully we can make a little bit better time and both of us will also be able to stay warm if we go a little bit faster. So thankfully I have a towel that I'll dry him off and my hair off a bit when we get set up and he has his warm clothes. I always keep warm and dry his jammies along with my warm and dry merino wool layer. And tonight will definitely be a night for hand warmers and probably bringing him into my sleeping bag with me and cuddling up together to keep as warm as possible because it's supposed to be in the low twenties. But yeah, sorry, I haven't really been showing the trail today because there have been no views, even though unfortunately I've been passing a lot of marked views on far out. So don't know what I'm missing today, unfortunately, because this is all I'm seeing. And my poor wet little man, but actually he seems fine. He's very happy actually. <laughs> he keeps like looking up at me and smiling. It's really cute. He goes like kind of pulls on the lead like he is right now. He pulls the lead out and then he'll look back at me like, go faster, come on. <laughs> oh, my little man. All right, um, there's also gonna be a really pretty waterfall that we're gonna pass soon. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the prettiest waterfalls actually on the entire AT. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to see it well enough through this misty fog. So, all right, we'll be coming up on that soon. All right, rain, rain, go away. Finally, the waterfall. And it has not stopped raining for hours. I am soaked. I've been carrying Zobi. It's getting dark. I don't think I'm going to make it to my campsite. It just Maybe I don't know, I'm under some trees. I think it just stopped raining. There's a shelter up ahead and I'm praying that there's room for me. And I might just take 
my first night in a shelter. But finally saw the waterfall <laughs> and it is pretty. Well, this has been an interesting evening. It was pouring for hours and I was convinced I was either going to have to put my tent up in pouring rain and have everything get wet and I was cold and shivering and so was Zoe and that sounded absolutely miserable or I was gonna stop at the shelter and hopefully there would be room for me at it and sleep in the shelter tonight. Well, it has been slippery rocks for miles, especially going up and down to Laurel Falls was just nothing but rock scramble and actual like rock steps that were slippery. So I just, I had to slow down and I did fall a couple of times. Thankfully, nothing too serious. And anyway, I was like, I'm just going to stop at the shelter. It has blessedly, thank God, literally, thank you, Jesus, as I was praying for it to stop raining. It has stopped raining. And I was like, I'm just going to stop at the shelter and either sleep in the shelter or put my tent up around it. Hopefully there'll be a spot. Well, I just pulled out far out because I'm like, I should have passed the shelter by now. Sure enough, I passed the shelter. Totally missed the blue blaze. Didn't see a sign. I don't know. I was probably concentrating on not falling on slippery rocks. So now I'm only like a tenth of a mile from my 13.1 day I had planned out in the campsite I was going to go to. So it's a little after 7, I think it's about 7.15, 7.20. Um, it's going to get dark here shortly, but I should have enough time to get the tent up and then get warm and dry and get Zobie warm and dry. He's been in here for over three miles now and I think he's finally not shivering but man I feel awful. I tried to get him a little bit dry and I threw my fleece in there around him to try to keep him warmer but I was, it was supposed to stop raining at like four o'clock today. <sighs> not, did it, not only did it not stop raining at four o'clock it started raining harder for hours. It just stopped like 15 minutes ago. All right, I'm not gonna walk right by my campsite here, so I'm gonna figure out where it is because I should be coming up on it. Bye-bye. Here it is. I didn't walk by it. <laughs> Look how cute. Right next to the river, so I have white noise and a water source. And not that I'm gonna use that, but a fire ring, a couple flat areas. So I'm gonna get set up before it gets dark and get warm. All right, 8.10, <laughs> somehow made it happen. <laughs> I, I am changed and into my warm gear. I cannot underestimate or uh, over, yeah, good Lord, I can't even talk. I'm so freaking tired right now. I cannot stress enough is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, the importance of having warm, dry layers. I have on a 250 merino wool layer. I have on a fleece layer. I have my polar buff. I have a, another merino wool buff. 250 merino wool pants and dry socks. And I'm about to also put on my down booties and I'm going to put some warmers in them tonight. Um, I got Zobie into his dry clothes and tried to dry them off a little bit. And for once, I don't care that the little man <laughs> stole my blankie and my sleeping bag because he's warm and cozy and drying off in there. <laughs> I got everything in there, I'm trying to dry my rain gear and his little outfit and my shirt was wet under my rain gear. I'm trying to dry it at least a little bit before it gets too cold tonight and it actually just freezes instead of dries. But I'm gonna make some dinner real quick before it gets totally dark. And I don't know how we did it. We didn't get on trail until, gosh, like 1 o'clock, I think. Still got in 13.1 miles through rain and slippery rocks and falling a couple of times and taking Zobie in and out of his carrier. Ended up carrying Zobie for 7 miles of the, of, uh, 
gosh, I can seriously not talk. Seven miles of the 13.1 miles today. And uh, still managed to get set up before it's totally dark. And it's stopped raining. Praise the Lord. Seriously, thank you, Jesus, because this would have sucked, sucked doing in that pouring down rain that I walked through for hours today. And I missed the shelter, so. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go make dinner. Good night. Good morning. Let me on. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Wake up. <laughs> uh, actually, we both have been awake for a while. We were gonna sleep in. I was gonna give us some extra time this morning to let it get warmer out there and maybe dry off a little bit. I think you wouldn't mind getting some extra time. <laughs> We've both actually been awake for a while and I think it's time to go potty. Let me in. Yo, wake up, wake up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously, believe it or not, he has been awake. He's been giving me kisses. I guess he just decided it was time to go back to sleep. <laughs> just as I decided it was time to get up. Uh, maybe we'll lay here a little bit longer. <laughs> Good morning. I'm up. I got my coffee. Look at our sweet little campsite. Isn't it cute? I really enjoyed this campsite. Even though it was horrible getting here through all that nasty cold rain. Lord made it stop just as soon as we got here. We got to enjoy the sound of the river all night long. And we stayed warm and it stopped raining. Now I'm going to make coffee. Oh, and by the way, oh man, won't even get up to go potty. Go potty. Oh man. Hey. <laughs> Do you need to go potty? No. <laughs> okay. Yesterday, in one of my many slips on the rocks, I cut my finger. I mean, not, not a big deal, right? <laughs> it's not, um, but my finger is swollen and hurts this morning. I did, believe it or not, clean it with, um, hi. <laughs> I cleaned it with, uh, you know, antiseptic swab. See, it's, it's not that bad. You know, like, it's just a little cut. But you know how you can, like, feel your heartbeat um, in a wound? Like, that's what's happening with my finger, and it's the bottom part of it's pretty swollen, you can see. So I'm going to try to clean it again today and put Purell directly on it and wrap it. My stupid fear out here is actually, oh, wow, look what a mess I am, is actually something like this, that some ridiculous little injury like this is like gonna get infected and send me to the hospital and get me off trail because now I have like some crazy disease or something. So anyway, gonna try to take care of it again. I've got bruising. Remember when I fell the other day and I said my whole left side was gonna be bruised? Oh yeah, I've got like marks all over my body. I don't know where they came from, but this is the first actual like cut. Everything else has just been bruises and sore. So, well, we'll take care of it. First, coffee. I must say, yesterday while I was out in the cold, wet rain hiking, I felt like my days at Mountain Harbor were a mirage. I'm feeling that again. What is this mush in front of me? What is this not specialty coffee in front of me? Where's my egg souffle and my five cheese hash brown casserole? Alright, here we go. Campsite's all packed up. Say bye bye, pretty little stream. We loved camping next to you. Uh, it's 9.15 and uh, kind of just took my time. I enjoyed breakfast, even though it wasn't my, you know, egg souffle and tomato pie. And uh, took my time packing up, took some more pictures of the river. Um, it was cold when I got up, it was below 30. Um, and then barely above freezing as I was making breakfast and it is supposed to get up into the low to mid 50s today and then actually supposed to be 70 again by tomorrow so one more cold night tonight and then it's actually supposed to be pretty nice so 
we are doing 15.4 miles today um, and then like 17 miles tomorrow in order to get to Damascus by Thursday so I can make my reservation because the freaking marathon this weekend has everything booked for Friday and Saturday so I'm trying to get there by Thursday instead. So hopefully we can do this 15.4 miles today. I've got little man still in his PJs, which if they start looking like they're getting muddy or wet, I'm going to take them off of him. But his bodysuit was still wet from yesterday. Actually, my rain gear was still wet too. So when I get to camp tonight, I'm going to try to, or if we take a break today, I'm going to try to, oh, I knew you were doing that. I knew you were doing that. Uh, you guys are going to get so sick of seeing my dog go to the bathroom. I'm so sorry. He has all morning to go potty and as soon as we get on the trail like that's his signal to like let's go potty now <laughs> oh have i told you i don't think i've told you all actually i might have mentioned it once but yeah zobi does have a trail name now that reminds me <laughs> he doesn't respond to it uh but people are kind of starting to call him this um his trail name is tootsie because his poop looks like tootsie rolls <laughs> Oh, my poor baby. Alright, I'm going to look for going over this pretty bridge. Going to go over the river. And look at this. Blue skies and sunshine. It may be cold, but at least it's pretty. And it is going to warm up. So, here we go, buddy. Up, up, up the bridge. I'm actually really sad that it was raining so freaking hard yesterday that I couldn't take my camera out more often to show you how pretty yesterday's hike actually was. Because... A lot of it was along this river. Look how pretty it is. My campsite was right over there. And oh, I don't know if you can really see any of it right here. There's a little bit right here on the edge. See this rock cliff? Like all the way up rock cliffs, big rock walls. Um, there's kind of some of one, but like actual, more like that, like bouldering rock. Actually, that is what I had to climb over a lot yesterday. Um, there was one area where we had to go actually right around the river. I really wanted to record it. It was a little crazy. Um, there's actually a high water bypass for the AT to bypass Laurel Falls and that section of the river where you have to climb over boulders like that that are right next to the river. And if the river is high, um, the trail is actually covered. <laughs> and the trail is <laughs> just rocks, like just trying to find your footing on rocks. And because it was raining and slippery yesterday, uh, it was actually kind of treacherous and maybe I should have done the bypass, but I survived. I was carrying Zoe through that and I was like, I'm gonna fall into this river and I'm gonna get swept away by the currents with my pack and Zoe attached to me and this is not good. But I survived, here I am. <laughs> okay, let's hike 15.4 miles today in dry weather. Yes, finally. I saw a couple of them yesterday, but of course it was raining. Lucky, they're starting to bloom. That makes me so excited. Mountain Laurel. Hi! <laughs> uh, I've been just kind of lost in thought and realized I haven't recorded anything for a hot minute. Um, we were going up for the first about three and a half miles. This is what I'm looking at right now. Um, and I'm about five miles in, so we've been going down for about the last mile and a half. <laughs> um, we are coming up on, uh, I'm not sure if it's Lake Watauga or Watauga Lake, but we're coming up on Watauga. I'll be there in about a mile and was planning, hi, <laughs> uh, was planning to stop um, somewhere around the lake and have a nice little break and lunch and um, that would break up today's 15.4 mile hike about in half because I should be, I think it's going to be about miles like six through eight or nine ish, just a couple miles around the lake and that's about halfway. So that's the plan. The other thing is we are actually about to come up upon Boots Off Hostel, which if you are familiar with the AT through hiking world, section hiking even, um, you have definitely heard of Boots Off. It is one of those iconic landmark hostels on the AT. And I'm really sorry, but you're not gonna see it in my video. <laughs> um, I have no need to pop in. Um, I'm not staying there, obviously. I just got back on trail yesterday. And 
I don't need any resupply. I fully resupplied everything at Mountain Harbor. Got a full pack. Um, I don't need, I don't need to stop there for any reason. And it would only be purely to just see it and like take pictures or whatever. So I did think about doing that, but I'm like, I already have 15.4 miles to go. I'm going to take a break around the lake, which is going to, you know, add some time to my day. And then once I pass the lake, it's all up again for several miles. So, and that slows me down. So I'm not going to go off trail over to the hostel. Sorry. But, um, it's been a lovely hike. Uh, I did have a little bit of views through the tree lines as I was going up earlier. Um, nothing spectacular. I still wonder what views I missed yesterday because it was such a pretty area with all the rock cliffs and the waterfall and the rushing river. And I just kind of bummed that it was such a rainy day. And there were a lot of views marked on far out that I was passing, but it is what it is. It's one of those days that it was pouring down rain and I wasn't going to get my phone wet and my hands were freezing anyway, even with my gloves on. Um, so anyway, I will definitely be showing you some views around the lake. I'm very happy that it is sunny with blue skies because this is one of those lakes where if you catch it right on the nice day, especially if the winds die down or it can be on a side of the lake where the winds aren't hitting it, you can get the reflection of the mountains in the lake. So I was really hoping for that. So we will see if we can make that happen. But you're definitely gonna stop for a lunch break with who's just trucking along like always with his warmer gear on still. I'm gonna take that off probably when we get to the lake. Although not gonna lie, when the wind hits, it's still cold. <laughs> and there was some snow at the top of the mountain there. So definitely, definitely got cold last night. All right, see y'all in a bit. Actually, I just remembered something else that I was thinking about while I was hiking and was thinking about yesterday, but obviously didn't have my phone out yesterday. So I just wanted to give you an update on Stan the Man. Um, he's awesome. If you're not following him on YouTube, you should be. Um, met him through Terra Trex. Something loud just made noise behind me and I thought, thought it was a human and it wasn't, so I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> um, hold on a second. I am going to that well whatever it is must have crossed the trail behind me um huh, interesting anyway <laughs> so stay in the man um we have been messaging and friends ever since uh we met each other through tara treks uh if you don't follow her you should follow her too on youtube a uh, former through hiker who does an introductory video every year of the upcoming through hiker hopefuls if you will and Stan and I were both in the video. We clicked and we've been messaging and he started 12 days after me and has caught me, <laughs> sort of. When he arrived at Mountain Harbor Sunday night um, on Easter, and it was so cool that we met on Easter too because we're both Christians. Um, so we just, we just clicked, like we just sat there after dinner and we just talked and talked and talked like old friends. I just love him. And he had breakfast with me yesterday morning before I left and he's just a great guy. Seems like he's hiking with a good group of people too. But anyway, um, when he arrived Sunday night, I had just finished my, that 14 mile slack pack, which by the way, it started raining like almost as soon as I got to the hostel. And that was the rain that lasted all Sunday night and all day yesterday. Um, but so that put me 14 miles ahead of him because he crossed over the Rowan Highlands to 19E and arrived at the hostel on Sunday. So he was going to try to maybe slack pack yesterday and be getting back on today where I got on yesterday and we'd be closer, but his plan had been to take a zero yesterday. And so he did, um, which he needed, he needed to do. Um, I don't know. We were talking about how we're both usually approximately about a week to two weeks behind in uploading, um, which I don't even like to use the term behind. That's just like the lag of being out here on the trail. And so I don't know where he's at with his video uploads, but um, that was another reason he wanted to take a zero was trying to get a little bit more caught up. Um, but um, he is having some problems with this pack. So he bought a new one in Hot Springs and it's still bothering him, his new one, like badly, like his back has like an open sore on it. Um, so he's gonna get another pack in Damascus and he also injured 
his groin probably we believe something pulled in his leg and is hurting him so he has been doing like 18 mile days average but he said he's probably going to slow down to more like 13 mile days between um 19e uh, mountain harbor there and damascus so he's planning to roll into damascus on saturday and i was going to get there on friday but now i have to get there on thursday so we're a couple days apart and i really hope that we will be able to bridge that gap and actually be able to hike together yeah, at least for a little bit um so yeah it's uh pretty cool to be able to finally meet face to face someone that you've just really clicked and bonded with already and then you sit down and you talk and it's like old friends so it would be awesome awesome for him to catch me again and actually be able to do some hiking together all right i'm gonna stop babbling now sorry bye well there's the lake i've had little glimpses of it through the mountain as i've been coming down but here's my first better view of it as we're going down this old dirt road that is the at next to what looks like is probably a church because there was a cemetery at the end of this dirt road it's the second cemetery i've passed in like three days okay i am on the road that you would take down the boots off um if i went the other way i would be going to the hostel um i actually just passed the husband of a friend of mine i've been leapfrogging and we follow each other on instagram uh adrian's her real name um and he's meeting her at boots off today so that's sweet. I love it when spouses and family members are so supportive because I saw him back in the Smokies when we were leapfrogging each other in the Smokies too. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it's a little confusing. I wasn't sure which way I needed to go. So thank God for far out because there are no white blazes. Oh, there's my first white blazer on this telephone pole telling me that the trail is actually this road. But I figured it out because of far out. And ooh, look at the pretty blossoms behind it. All right, you know I got to get sidetracked by that. I uh, totally got sidetracked by Mountain Laurel this morning. I took like 20 pictures of them. Look how pretty! Look how pretty! This makes me feel like spring actually really is coming. There is promise that this cold is going to go away. What's probably going to happen is that we are going to wind up going from 30 degrees to 80 degrees with no in-between. All right, I'm going to pull far out out again so I don't continue to get lost. But this is the lake and I'm pretty sure I need to turn left and walk along this busy road for a few minutes. All right, here we go. Just yellow blazed a little bit. <laughs> that looks like it's the trail. And according to Far Out, I'm walking alongside the trail on the road, but I did not see where to get back on the trail when I crossed the road anywhere. But I think that little bridge is actually the AT. Well, oops connects up here to this parking lot anyway it looks like we'll figure it out so pretty nice little you can see that roped off swim area over there and there's picnic tables and a beach that'd be probably absolutely packed on a hot summer day but all right so there's the little bridge over behind that tree that I missed apparently the trail is over there somewhere but I'm getting back on it right here and continuing on around the lake and we'll find hopefully maybe a lovely spot like a picnic area somewhere else a little bit further ahead to stop for lunch look how pretty the lake is though pretty 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 and yes confirmation we are back on the trail thank you white blaze yay and oh flowering tree oh really pretty flowering tree oh i wonder if i can can i zoom in on the petals on the flowers look how pretty they are oh <gasps> I had to stop. I've seen a few little groupings of these daisies, but this is the largest grouping of those particular daisies I've seen yet. Can't wait till they're all over the trail. Zoe, you look so cute framed by daisies. It's like, mommy, I'm a boy. <laughs> look at this. Oh, such a beautiful day. It's cold, but it is beautiful. And the wind is blocked more on this side. So pretty right over there is where we came across the street so we've walked around the side of the lake so far and I just had to stop this little pull out and get some pictures we're gonna stop a little bit farther up for lunch hopefully it'll be nice and protected from the wind just a beautiful beautiful walk around the lake i could do this all day i'm just glad i get to do it at all and 
that I got a pretty day to do it. Yay! Yep, this is my lunchtime spot. Pretty darn good one. I am very happy with it. <laughs> and this is also a camping spot. I am, hold on a second. I'm seven and a half miles into today's hike. This is a spot that is marked on far out as a, uh, just as Watauga Lake on far out, but the comments talk about it having a campsite. So there is a fire ring. And then up here, it's nice and even, bed of needles, and the trail goes right by it. But I am making it my lunch spot today. Little man, are you hungry? Hey, psst, psst, do you want some food? Oh, yeah, let me itch, mom. <laughs> Beautiful. And it's tucked away in the trees, away from the wind, but I can enjoy the sun at the same time. Yay! <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get him up. <laughs> Are you gonna make me carry you seven miles again today, buddy? <laughs> He's out! <laughs> Zoby! Zoby? Little man. Oh, there you are! Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> nope, we're not getting up. Oh my goodness, baby. All right, I'm gonna let you stay here a little bit longer. <laughs> God. So that was a lovely break. We spent nearly an hour there. Probably a little longer than we should have, but did the math. We should still be totally fine to get to our campsite probably by 6.30 to 7-ish. Um, maybe even a little earlier, but I'm accounting for another stop. Do you want down now? He uh, was a <laughs> goofy boy. He was so sleepy and just like out. <laughs> when I woke him up and got him back on the leash, he just kept laying back down. I was like, okay, if you're tired, I'll carry you for a little bit. That's fine. It's nice and flat around the lake. And actually, I just looked it far out and I have like three more miles around the lake. I didn't realize it was going to be quite that far today. So I was like, that's okay. I'll carry you. Now he's acting like he wants down. Hmm. Anyway, nice little break. And now we are going to go around the lake and then up to our campsite. So we'll see if he wants to walk or wants to be carried. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> he wanted down. I was trying to carry him and the my arms the way that I normally carry him around all over the place and he was like pushing against me so I set him down and he's taken off. I guess a little bit of food in his belly and a nap in the sun he's ready to go. <laughs> Such a good little hiker. Came around this bend and looked out and went oh look how pretty. Oh, just never shows it as well between the trees. Like in real life you can look between the trees better like you just don't see him you see what's behind it more but a really pretty view of the lake and the mountains behind it right here. Purple is my favorite color, and I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but they are all over the trail around the lake, especially in the section I've been walking through for a little bit here as I get closer to the dam. Look at them, look at all of them. And I am freaking in love. Like, I keep freaking out. I think I've taken about 20 pictures of them so far. They are so pretty, I just love them. I don't know what they are, I'm gonna have to Google them. Love them, love them. They are making me oh so happy today. Purple, purple everywhere. And then aqua or teal, just like the ocean, is my second favorite color. So getting to look up from the purple flowers and see the beautiful shades of blue in the lake is also making me very happy today. I don't want to leave this area, especially since the guy I just passed who is slack packing today, just came down the mountain. I'm about to go up and is where I'm gonna camp at tonight. And he said it is covered in snow. <laughs> Maybe some of it'll melt off before I get there. <laughs> Look at all the pretty flowers and the pretty lake. Oh my gosh, y'all. I seriously just yelled out in sheer joy. Look at this. Irises everywhere. They're all irises. I love irises. <laughs> And this guy behind me thinks I'm nuts. No, I 
I don't. As a matter of fact, I know you. You know me. I'm one of your subscribers. You are, yeah, well. <laughs> you're going to be on my video. Cool, cool. My name is Flash. I'm from Tampa. Hi. Oh, I'm from Tampa. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we have so much to talk about. Yeah, you know what? I recognize the Zobie. <laughs> Everybody recognizes Zobie first. I was just saying that, that I'm the girl with the little white dog on the yeah, trail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out. I love beautiful rock faces. I've been walking along this for a little bit on the trail now after the pretty irises. And on the other side is the lake. What a pretty area. Yes, I love it. Oh, look at all that exposed rock on the mountain I'm about to go up. There's a white blaze. Look at that. You see that exposed mountain through there, through the trees? Exposed mountain, exposed rock on the mountain through the trees. <laughs> oh, what a pretty area. You come up here and park, it looks like. Probably get some hiking in. We're gonna walk across that, I believe, to get over to that mountain. And then I get to start going up. Okay, I know I just said I love exposed rock. This is so pretty right here. I don't know if this is really even capturing it. There's a lot of color in the rock. There's reds and golds, and then there's the green moss growing on it. And then you look in the other direction and you got the lake. All right, so I'm hanging out with some fellow Floridians here, Mountain Dog and Flash, who was seeing me freak out about the irises. And then he also heard me freak out about this. Yeah, look how see, beautiful yeah, that beautiful is. View, yeah. Came around the bend here and went, oh my God, look how beautiful this is. This is one of the prettiest spots on the trail so far, for real. You got the lake on one side, mountain views, exposed rock, cliffs, hawks circling around wanting to eat my dog. It's all good. <laughs> we just needed to warm he, up a few he, degrees. He's blue today. Oh gosh, if we could get it to warm up a few degrees. <laughs> I was, as he's in, in a t-shirt. I was just yeah. saying, actually, that I'm probably gonna have to shed a layer before I start going up because the sun is out and well, it's nice. Well, doing that all day long. You know, it's like you, you stop, you stop off, and take off layers, put yeah. layers on, and it just, Every time I was about ready to, look how pretty this is, oh my gosh. Every time I was about ready to take off my fleece, the wind hit me again and I was like, nope. <laughs> look how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's your cell spot down there. <laughs> I would t I would totally camp right here for this view. I just walked over here to look at it and went, oh my God, again. I feel like I'm in Colorado right now. Like this is kind of the kind of thing that you get out there a little bit more out west with the sweeping rocky type of views with exposed cliffs and stuff. Yep. So pretty. So funny because I keep running into people I know. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere in this section. I just stopped and talked to two more hikers that I know. So that's like six hikers in the last like ten two tenths of a mile that I keep <laughs> stopping and talking to. But I know I keep saying how beautiful this is, but oh my gosh, I'm in love with this little stretch right here. So, so pretty. Finally, got warm enough to shed a layer down to my merino wool after being in my merino wool and my fleece and my puffy most of the morning, at least my puffy while I was at camp. I took that off once we started hiking, but yeah, I've been in my merino wool and my fleece all day, debating on the fleece a couple of times, but yeah, finally just got hot, like actually sweating a little bit for the first time today. Yes, maybe, maybe it won't be so bad as we go up this mountain, or maybe I'll sweat getting up it and then freeze once I get to the top. And I even took baby boy's clothes off. He's a nae little man. Naked man running around. <laughs> I was gonna put his little black bodysuit on him. It's mostly dry. I set some things out yesterday to dry. Oh, oh is that a monarch? Oh, either a monarch or a viceroy just flew by me. Oh, how exciting! I need to see my namesake out here. Um. Anyway, yeah, I set most of yesterday's stuff out to dry while we were on our lunch break, and most of it got dry or, you know, just slightly damp. And his little outfit was still slightly damp. So I was like, you know what? We'll just let you run around naked today for a little bit. <laughs> Probably as soon as we get to the top of the mountain, I'm gonna have to put his warm jammies back on him anyway, cause it's, we're gaining like 1200 feet elevation here in the next couple miles. So, all right, 
I'm gonna stop babbling again. I babble a lot these days. Bye bye. Follow the white blazed road. Follow the white blazed road. Follow the follow the follow the follow the follow the white blazed road. Okay. Sorry. Had a Dorothy moment. <laughs> when I had to do this rerouting of my plan for these days between 19E and Damascus, um, I did it really quick and was, of course, talking to other hikers at the hostel while I was doing it. And I remembered when I was reading about this shelter that there were several stealth sites around the shelter in the comments. So I was just like, crap, I'm gonna refresh my memory here about this shelter and where I'm actually gonna be trying to camp tonight. Cause I was just thinking, oh, I'll camp at the shelter if I can't find a good stealth site or whatever. But I really needed to reread everything and I'm glad I did. <laughs> um, this shelter has a terrible water source. So everyone says to camel up at the spring that you cross about almost three miles before it. And I'm coming up on that spring in about a half mile. Um, then on top of that, I said there's only really one to two good campsites around the shelter because it's pretty rocky. And that the shelter is like overrun with mice, which is why I don't like to stay in shelters. And I also don't really like to camp around shelters because the mice will come to your freaking tent just like they will come to your bag and sleeping bag and everything else in a shelter. So I really don't want to go to the shelter now. And all of the talk about stealth sites is before the shelter, from point six to point three before the shelter. There's nothing marked on far out after the shelter for two miles. And at that, it's a view that's marked. And at that view, there's one comment about a campsite point two north of that view, which means I would have to add another 2.2 miles to today. And I just don't think I have enough daylight for that. Um, so I'm a little torn. I didn't really want to stop short because that means I have to add more to tomorrow. I'm already doing 18 miles tomorrow, 17.9. And that's from the shelter. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just go past the shelter because more than likely there's some stealth sites in that two miles, or at least some sort of a random flat area like I've found other times I can throw my tent up before it gets dark. But then I start worrying that there isn't gonna be, and I find the one 2.2 miles away and it's dark, which isn't the end of the world to set up my camp at dark, but I would prefer not to. So, I don't know. Um, looking at the time, I'm debating, it's gonna be really close, really, really close. More than likely, I'm gonna try to stop at one of these sites before the shelter and rearrange my tomorrow and the next day into Damascus a little bit. Starting to get a little worried. Every stealth site that I have passed since getting water has been full. There's one more mentioned in the comments about 0.2 from where I currently am. I'm praying it's available. So otherwise, I'm gonna have to take a look at the shelter, hopefully not deal with mice, if there is a tent site available, and if not, play roulette with what may be after the shelter, before it gets dark. Here we go, let's see. Oh, ye of little faith, right? <laughs> Just as I was starting to worry, that last marked, or in the comment, campsite was available. And not only was it available, but check this out. Okay, so I'm on a ridge line, and over here, the sun is setting, so hopefully I'll get maybe a little bit of color with sunset. Sorry, my hands are shaking because I'm cold. This wind is flipping freezing. 
here's my little sweet little campsite just enough room for one tent maybe two if you squeeze another one in over there i'm still trying to dry my rain jacket from yesterday a little firing here i took some of the rocks but look at this look at this i have my own private view right here how sweet is this and because the sun is setting behind me, that means in the morning, the sun is gonna be rising over all of this. So hopefully I have a beautiful sunrise. I'm so excited. Yay. Not only was the campsite available, but it's freaking fantastic. Yay. All right, I'm gonna eat, I'm starving. <laughs>